hello everyone welcome back to another video on our new account series so in today's video we're going to talk about a lot of different stuff that has happened in the game so let's start off with the arena now you know we have uh, the hush invasion going on currently and we also have batman ninja lord joker and uh in the arena season obviously so uh, i'm currently on rank 254 with eight victories i played with two teams king and justice league team i was on elite four before i fin after i finished those uh, two teams now i'm in elite three so it's okay it's not a big difference over here so and apart from that uh when it comes to the arena store i have bought a few shards for predator batman and uh, predator batman is one of those characters that i'm really looking forward to maxing out soon enough so predator batman will be the first character that i'm going to max out from the arena store or maybe if i'm lucky i might get the drop in the solo raids or maybe from some chest uh so you know this is this is definitely going in the right direction arena progress and everything else now uh, if you're new to the channel guys and if you're watching this video for the first time i would like to tell you to please subscribe and click on the bell notification for further updates on videos just like this now we have a challenge for hellboy now he's not the best character in the game he's not a good character at all but he might come in handy when it comes to the arena and champions arena so uh yeah i mean i have completed all the difficulties over here as you can see difficulty level one two and three and i got 20 shards out of this so uh, 20 shards is still good enough i think by the end of the season i might be you know on around uh, 60 or maybe 65 shards so uh, yeah i think uh, i think i'm gonna not uh, get this guy to three stars this time maybe next time now uh, moving on to the other parts of the game which is solo raids so uh, solo rage is uh yeah it's still going uh, strong at the moment and uh, i'm currently on boss dr fair i've already defeated boss our uh, powered supergirl and cyborg uh boss dr fate is gonna be a bit of a problem over here because uh, he's having a longer tag in time for our players for our team and one of the abilities will be disabled now this is still okay this is still okay but this is going to be a bit of an issue because i'm using the all blades on king because that is the only good artifact that i have uh, which leads to good damage now with that artifact i cannot you know basically if i cannot tag in a lot in the match then you know there are chances that i might not do a lot of damage you know so that's the thing now when it comes to uh, boss batman uh, over here the player heroes will be stunned when they tag in so i have heartbreaker harley quinn so i might use her instead of shazam uh because she can reverse the stun when uh you know when if when if in case our player gets stunned so that's one thing uh but yeah i still have one week and one day left so i'm hoping that i might finish off this season by defeating the boss batman who laughs that could be possible yeah it's definitely could be possible you know so uh yeah with that out of the way let's move on uh to the other parts of the game now we have a pass for injustice 2's anniversary now this is good actually you know this is at least better than the previous one there's going to be for three weeks uh the rewards are going to be the same the objectives are going to change uh but if you take a look at this a thousand gems for free is definitely going to be good uh this is a galactic orb which is definitely going to come in good as use come for good use as well uh this is epic artifact reforge and a profile portrait all right and when it comes to the premium rewards they are not shown us they haven't shown us yet maybe we will get to know these rewards if we unlock you know the premium tiers but i i think there is no point in buying the tiers like this you know uh so this is what has changed on the fifth year anniversary and as far as uh, the chests are concerned there are no discounted chests at the moment there is this one legends of injustice chest now this giving this is going to give us like eight percent uh chance to you know get any one of these legendary characters it could be anyone and there are chances to get some silver drops as well yeah take a look at this one two three four five 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And out of which these is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7.5. 7 7.5% 7 chance to get any one of those legendaries, which is still crap, according to me. All right, guys. Now, uh, let's take you guys to the daily objectives and the achievements. But before that, let's show you guys the Champions Arena over here. Uh, now, champ I've played a few matches in Champions Arena this morning. I'm on rank 74 still. I might have to grind a lot and get myself to at least under rank 60 today. And maybe I can then grind after that. So 46 more points, then I think uh, 26 more points. And I'll reach, I'll take over this position. And then it's going to be, it's going to be a long grind, to be honest. And, and the guy who is on rank 1, he's already on 258 points. It's going to be a long grind, that's for sure. Uh, Alright guys, now. Now moving on to the daily objectives and the achievements. Everything is complete except for Champions Arena and playing one solo raid battle. I did not play the solo raids. I have to play. I usually play it in the evenings because uh, I just don't get enough time in between Champions Arena, Arena and Campaign. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I also wanted to show you a few more things over here. So, I recently promoted a character of mine to six stars and I got 250 gems. And guess who that character was? The most crappy character in the whole game uh which is catwoman yeah that's what that is that is basically that was the cat master thief catwoman actually uh gold character i got a gold character on defeating uh tier three sub boss so and i got her to uh, six stars i just promoted the character so that i can get 200 gems it took me like 170 coins and one orb to do that but yeah in return i got 200 gems so that was definitely nice and how many battles do I need to play more? 16 more battles to get 200 more gems. I can save up to 5,000 gems, guys. Easy, as I said. All right, guys. Now, finally, at the end, let's take you guys directly into the roster. All right, there we go. King of Atlantis, Aquaman is the same. Aquaman. I've worked a little bit on the stats, you know, and I've added a few fast stat chance, CAD and CAC over there. Uh, but yeah, I've also worked uh, on uh, Harley Quinn. this character, which is Heartbreaker Harley Quinn. Three gears are at level 30, two of them are at level 20, so this is definitely nice. I'm really looking forward to build this character soon enough because I'm going to reach uh, heroic modes of the solo raid soon enough. And I don't really want to be behind by just having one damage dealing team, which is King. I need to have at least three of them. So Silver Banshee is going to be the one, Heartbreaker Harley Quinn and King of Atlantis Aquaman. All right, guys, now take a look at this. My roster's thread is almost 2 million now. It's going to be there on 2 million soon enough. So it's, it's a great progress for me. And it's, it's going to be great. I think the future of this account is definitely going to be great. All right, guys, so thank you for watching. If you guys have a... And you guys have a great day. Take care of yourselves. And uh, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. All right, guys, thank you for your time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.